Well, the studio tour gives me an opportunity to show my work to people that wouldn't ordinarily see it. Sometimes three or four hundred people come on a weekend and get compliments and sometimes sell stuff. Well, I've kind of been working with wood all my life. I think it's in my genes because my father and my grandfather were contractor builders and my other grandfather was a uh, architect. I was always good at wood shop in high school and then I went off to college and pursued another area but came back to building houses. I worked as a carpenter and designed houses, built houses and then did the finished work, always wanted a shop and I needed furniture at one point. I started making some for myself and I've always been drawn to the work of Gustav Stickley, although this isn't exactly a Stickley piece, it's a competitor of his. The arts and crafts movement started around 1900 to 1915, and the main and most famous furniture designer was Gustav Stickley, who was my favorite. And the furniture, I like it because it's solid, strong, simple lines, it's built with mortise and tenon joinery and uses quarter sawn white oak, which has this pattern of rays and flakes that no other wood has. Um, I like it because it's pretty simple to make and I could make it. Well, this is a piece that I just finished this morning, actually. I'm delivering it tomorrow. It's called a Roycroft Cellaret. Uh, and Roycroft was one of Stickley's competitors. Anyway, the interesting thing about it is it has slanted sides and uh, shelf drawers. But the slanted sides make it unique and also make it quite a bit more complicated because of the through tenons. And, but anyway, it came out pretty good. Well, I've always wanted a shop and that I lived here for 10 years and was always designing a shop in my mind and I was building houses at the time and I wanted to build an underground house but nobody would go for it so I decided well I'll build my shop that way and saw a picture of something like this culvert and the magazine and uh, pursued it, found out where I could buy it and then built it. Uh, it's a 26-foot diameter steel culvert, the thing they use over rivers under freeways. Uh, it's got 18 inches of dirt on the very top, but like 10 feet on the sides. Stays cooler in the summer, easy to heat in the winter. Well, after I got out of graduate school, I joined VISTA, which is Volunteers in Service to America, and they sent me to solve poverty in Woodlake. And I came here from Manhattan and looked up in the mountains and said, what's up there? And I moved up here three weeks after I got to uh, Visalia and was working in Woodlake. Never left. <laughs>